Mike, my final question for you is about networking. We both know that here in Vancouver, uh, networking is very important. Majority of the jobs or people find jobs is through networking. But uh, for some people, networking can be a very difficult challenge because some of them, they feel that they have to go meet people and sell themselves, kind of, or ask them, them that I need a job, can you help me? But I feel that networking should be done on an ongoing basis and there should be a little bit of strategy. So what tips do you have in your professional experience for people who are not comfortable or who are new immigrants or who are introverts that, are, that need some guidance in terms of networking? And, and that's, that's a great, great uh, question. And, and so many people have that challenge where they feel uncomfortable uh, networking and meeting people and going out of their way to put themselves out there. Uh, personally, uh, you know, we met through a networking event, uh, through the LinkedIn uh, meetup. Uh, and, you know, we wouldn't be here having this conversation if it wasn't for that initial uh, meeting. Uh, so I think there's a value in every single person that, uh, that you meet. Uh, and many successful uh, individuals always say that uh, if it wasn't for networking, if it wasn't for uh, a specific connection, uh, there wouldn't be a chain reaction for, for future opportunities. Uh, so in terms of advice and, and tips, is um, you, you want to make that um, a priority. You want to make that a forefront. You want to make that um, a weekly or a monthly uh, goal uh, to do a little bit of research about events, uh, or networking or associations that you want to be involved with outside of your day-to-day -day, uh, position or whatever you or whatever is keeping you busy I guess in your uh, in your career uh, so taking that uh, that time um, will be worthwhile because then you can really align yourself with organization and networking events that have uh, they feel will bring value to your uh, your career um, secondly, you want to tailor your networking approach. I think something that you alluded to that, uh, that you mentioned that a lot of people make the mistake is that right away they try to sell or they try to ask. Uh, and that's the first thing that you should not be doing, I would say. I think you have to have that opposite. It's, you got to come into a networking event with uh, the goal of helping others in any way. Even if you're um, new to the country and you may not even have resources, or maybe you're a new grad that, again, doesn't have the professional experience, you can still offer a lot to people. And if you uh, come out in, with that type of authentic uh, relationship that you're looking to create, it's going to put people's guard down where they don't feel like they're obligated to go out of their way to, to help you because you're just asking uh, and taking versus, versus giving. Yeah. Uh, you also want to really practice your uh, value proposition. Uh, you know, you call it a million different things. It could be an elevator pitch, but a, a good way to kind of deliver who you are as an individual. And you ask nine um, out of 10 people to, to deliver their uh, elevator pitch. Um, they just don't even know where to start. So it goes back to literally just writing a little bit about yourself and then delivering it and practicing it to your family members, to your friends, to acquaintances, to your mentor, to, to the point where then you're comfortable just saying, hey, this is who I am. Uh, and that is the best way to kind of open up uh, a good conversation with an individual. Uh, lastly, I think it's important not to take things personally. Yes. Uh, you know, I you know different than, than sales sometimes. Um, you may meet hundreds and hundreds of people in different, uh, different events, and then you're going to follow up with them, and you may just hear crickets. They just don't um, hear back from them. Uh, the reality is not everybody is going to be able to, uh, to assist, and not everybody is going to have the time to, to build those relationships. Uh, so it doesn't mean that you don't have to attempt and, uh, and go out of your way to, uh, to basically build those relationships, uh, but it's not, uh, again, uh, everybody's cup of tea, so to speak. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And whenever I go to any networking event, I ask questions like, what's your intent from attending this event? What do you want to gain about this? And then have a conversation with it and not just tell yourself, you know, because you want to have those authentic relationships, especially here in Vancouver, it's a very small community. And, uh, you know, place some seeds so that 
maybe in the future you will have those opportunities coming up and then you can say hey mike we met in this event i'm seeing that you guys are hiring you know have those relationship uh, established and then go from there yeah yeah and, and those, that, those are some of the best authentic relationships that um I've, I've created over the last you know 15 years it's not even necessarily people that i've actually done business with or transacted with but those have been individuals that referred some of the best clients uh or i've been able to help out in in various capacities uh and it's just a, a trust that you be, you're, you're able to build over uh, over time through um, you know, different uh, thought-provoking conversations that we've, uh, that we've had. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. Again, thank you uh, for those tips. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. Uh, thank you again for taking the time to answer my questions that I'm hoping will be beneficial for job seekers or, or whoever is watching or trying to get a new job or a new immigrant here and mm -hmm. trying to get as much information as possible in terms of career search. And for the audience, if you have other networking tips that we haven't discussed, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share this video so that more people will be aware of some of the tips that we are talking about. Uh, subscribe to the channel so that you're aware every time I'm interviewing people or posting new videos. And uh, tune in uh, next time for another interview series. And Mike, thank you again and hope we can meet another uh, event coming up soon here in Vancouver. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure, um, pleasure speaking with you and thanks for having me on your show. Thank you.